want to uh, I don't know if I want to go over this next story because it's kind of uh, do I want to let's do it I'm letting you know right now I really really don't want to but I'm going to because this is an everyday occurrence but I do want to because the excuse the excuse that the gentleman used, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give it away. I'm about to switch to the story in a second. But the excuse that the gentleman used is hilarious to me. People would try anything. And the beautiful part about it, I'm not even upset. I'm not even upset at the excuse that he used. It's, it's crazy. So let me give you the background of what I'm talking about with this next story. Again, it's not surprising at all. We hear this on a regular basis and you probably already know what i'm talking about because it's in the title cops racist text messages exposed after shooting black college student now i'm tired of this type of story but if you haven't heard the story just hear me out just just bear with me but just hang in here with me please and wait to for the excuse and or the reasoning that he gives it's crazy it's crazy but just just bear with me please i i, I appreciate it <laughs> this crazy and i wasn't going to do it but what made me want to do it was the excuse that he gave this is crazy all right here we go and we're going to read some of the comments too because I, I keep forgetting the story is in the comments the story is in the comments. Shout out to uh, Revolt Black News or Revolt uh, TV. But yeah, you see the the title right there: "Cops Racist Text Messages Exposed After School." I mean, uh, after shooting black college student. Here we go. Let's roll. More racist text messages from former San Jose Police Department officer Mark McNamara has been released three months after he was forced to resign over the use of derogatory language while working as a cop. McNamara, who is white, stepped down in November after dozens of racist texts were discovered by the Department Internal Affairs team while they investigated McNamara for an un unspecified and unrelated matter. In a new 171-page court uh, filing on January 12th, Hundreds of other messages were exposed, including, including one where McNamara wrote, and I quote, I hate black people more than I hate being a cop. After the filing, there were, I mean, there, there was also a text exchange in which McNamara used the N-word while responding to a coworker who asked, I wonder how long I can stay off the booze for. McNamara replied, N-word? Now isn't the time for a drink. We got to sculpt our bodies for the upcoming race war. Wow. I'm going to see it because that, that N-word ain't sound right. Nigga, now it ain't time for that drink. We got to sculpt our bodies for the upcoming race war. Yeah, that sound better. Ain't no N-word. We way past the seven minutes being in the year. Wow, that's what he said, huh? Okay. Got you. You like using that word, but mm, okay, all right, here we go. Some of the texts were related to a March 2022 shooting incident in which McNamara shot black college football player Kawan Green, who had wrestled a gun from a perpetrator during a fight at a local restaurant. Green survived, but still suffers from adamant pain after being shot four times. You know exactly what happened. You know exactly what happened. He came in, guns blazing, didn't ask no questions. And come to find out, the guy he shot four times just disarmed the person who was causing all the havoc. Okay. Green filed, an, Green filed an excessive force lawsuit against the city and McNamara. And in a disposition in July of 2023, the ex-cop defended himself saying, here we go. 
he wasn't a monster. Just hours before he spent, I mean, sent more racist Texas, he then changed his story in another disposition, claiming that all the slurs against black people were jokes. He learned from movies starring Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, of course he's going to say this, Samuel L. Jackson, and here we go, and a stand-up comedy routine by comedians like Dave Chappelle. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? In November Green, 22, and his legal team amended the lawsuit against the former cop and city to say the shooting should, should be reviewed, should, should be viewed as a hate crime. Yeah, that's going to be hard to do that, though. But no, you got them texts, which we're going to get to in a second. As of now, the city of San Jose has still not agreed to settle the matter. Yeah, they, they playing hardball. They playing hardball. Uh, McNamara has been decertified as a police officer, but has not been charged. Now, this is the big one right here. He has not been charged with any crime. <sighs> wow. First of all, it's going to be hard to charge him with the, oh, that's crazy. Now, now, now check this out. Let's go, let me see here. Let me see. No, nah, see, I knew they was going to do that. But that's, okay. Let's go. Okay. Hopefully you could see that. Hopefully you could see that. If not, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, let me see. Grab. Okay, this one right here, the one that has that little black line across it. Let me see. There was like 65. Now, this is his text uh, messages. There was like 65 Africans looking motherfuckers there too. All just me mugging me and taking notes. They should all be bowing to me. Damn. And bringing me gifts since I saved a fellow nigga by making him rich as fuck. Otherwise, he would have lived a life of poverty and crime. Damn. What you say? Damn. Okay. Uh, let me see. Whoa. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, okay. Dude would probably blow it all in like a year. And I ain't gonna lie. That ain't racist, but well, because it's probably true. God forgive me. Listen, the truth is the truth. Now, when it's the truth, it's the truth. Because yeah, he probably will blow it in 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 in, in a year. Hopefully he won't, but I ain't trying to be funny. You can be mad at me all you want. I hate black people. Now, that's a, yeah, that's racist. Yeah, wow. What else? This dude, her, is that it? There he is. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Y'all, boy. Let's see what some of these chats, let me see. Let's see what some of these uh uh comments are saying. The FBI was right when they put out a report stating that white supremacy has infiltrated policing in America. Yeah, but, but we all know that, though. If you just use common sense, yeah. like my dad always said, the Klan took the streets off and put the blue and black uniforms on. Racism never left. It has just changed its look. Of course, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Of course, I'm not the one to... But yeah, it's just, it's, it is obvious. Let me see. It is so disturbing. Disturbing. I mean, it, it is so disturbing. Imagine how many Mark McNamara's are currently on the force who hasn't been discovered. Scary. True. True. Let me see. We didn't need, to, we, yeah, nah, yeah, that, that's true. We didn't need text messages to prove he was a racist. It's on video. But some, but, but for some reason, it's not enough. Now I can't play the video because they got it blurred out for it, which I do understand why. And plus, YouTube wouldn't allow me to play it anyway. So, you you can imagine it's unfortunate. He was he ran up on scene, and for real, the sad part about all this, I understand that there is a danger side to that. We all know that. We're not going to get into all that. There is a danger side to that. I. I get it, but we all know he went too far. We all know he went too far.
Ain't nobody, ain't no, ain't, 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 ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis.